This is day three of what government is calling still the search and rescue operations for missing Interior Secretary Jesse Robredo and the two pilots who were with him last Saturday. Just to give you an idea of how our rescue teams prepare for this, these are some of the equipment that our divers will be using for the more shallow type of diving out on sea. So we have teams coming from the Coast Guard who will be using this equipment, the diving tanks, the fins, as they go out there today. So earlier this morning, here at the jump-off point for the divers, we had teams of technical divers who went out as early as 6 a.m. to go back to the site where government approximated that the wreckage is right now. So we have a team, a team of foreign volunteer divers coming from Cebu City. We also have a team from the Philippine Navy of tech divers and a third team of tech divers, a private Korean divers who also came here to help out in the effort so right now that is the focus the tech divers will be able to dive twice because of the depth that they are reaching that's about 200 to 250 feet they can only do two dives so we're expecting that to be done this morning at about 6 a.m and another one at 11 a.m this afternoon uh, there will be a deployment of the remote operated vehicle coming from the u.s government this will reach a deeper uh, area in the water approximated about 1,000 feet so the idea really behind all this diving and also the deployment of that equipment is to give us a better picture a better look at what's underneath that one square kilometer area that officials have approximated to be the the, the site of the wreckage so we will be giving you more updates on what our divers have found as well as what the equipment the information coming from the equipment would be indicating this is Ayi Makaraig from Rappler Masbate